YouTube, what's good, man? We back with another video. Welcome back to y'all was T channel. Your boy Moon is with you. And today we got 12 times Mr. Beast fans went too far. So I guess this just a lot of times. Well, whatever. You read it. You see the same thing I see. So let's get straight to it, man. I ain't even seen it. I don't know what's going on. Jimmy had been stuffed in the back of a cop car, locked in a jail cell, and was now begging for food and water. From robbing people's houses to even cheating in his challenges for money, these are the 12 times when Mr. Beast fans went too far. And first, some fan was too obsessed with Mr. Beast that he decided to rob his house. Someone broke in and stole all my clothes. What? I, I, for one, I thought Mr. Beast stayed at, uh, like, his place of, like, where he do all his videos at, so... What? When I, I like opened my closet after I got robbed, I was like, oh, this is perfect. I was going to get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy thing is that Mr. Beast was actually happy being robbed by a fan because he got rid of some expensive clothes. But little do people know that Jimmy's career almost ended this day. He also took my Bitcoin at the time, too. So I had a laptop like this yeah. <clears throat> right here. It was just written my private key. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, I just said Jimmy. Bitcoin private key. Come on, so Jimmy. So he steals my laptop. <laughs> he, they just took it. There was like $2 million, which was every dollar to my name at that point. And Dang, what the world Mr. Beast was thinking? Had his every dollar to his name written on his computer? Like, that was just the dumbest ever. I was literally just about to sell it and fund a bunch of videos. And I'm like crying as I'm loading it up and my heart is pounding. I'm like, please, it, it's there. It's all there. <laughs> He's busy stealing my TV, yeah. my blanket, yeah. instead of the yeah. Bitcoin that yeah. was sitting right there. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you. Dang, so, bro. Had a chance to steal all Mr. Beast, two million all Mr. Beast Bitcoin, all his money he had. He was so busy stealing physical items that he probably didn't even know nothing about no Bitcoin, but that's crazy. It was only 2018, and Mr. Beast didn't have enough money at this time. So if this thief actually stole all the Bitcoins Jimmy had, Mr. Beast would simply become homeless and his channel would never blow up. But some Mr. Breast fans want to win his money so bad, they are blatantly cheating in Jimmy's challenges. Like Charlie D'Amelio, who said many, many times that she's a big Mr. Beast fan. But during the Creator Games hosted by Jimmy, Charlie Charlie and her family were constantly looking behind the camera and people were thinking they simply had a screen set up right here. Or even other people just showing them the answers. Mr. Emilio shot Try, down the first you, answer. They had their own crib and they cheat. Of course they would cheat. Who, 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 but it's crazy that they cheat and they rich. Like, what? Do they really need that money? That bad? No, the answer, use strategy. It's closest wins. Strategically try to get close. <laughs> All right, the countdown has started. Yes. And during the finals, when everyone already knew that D'Amelio's family was cheating, this happened. Oh, my goodness! And the answer is eight! <laughs> they got the exact... I wonder how many numbers they had to guess out. They got the exact answer. They should at least get seven. They had a cheating just stupidly. <laughs> Invest in oh, Lyft boy, aircraft, tell you. the company with $5 million dollars in government contracts. Congratulations, Dixie! You just got the... Then they come yeah. in with the phone. But does, it, does that she mean she was cheating, though? Just got the dumb. This might be the dumbest cheaters in Mr. Beast history because showing the phone the second after winning the trivia game is just... That means she had in her hand... At the exact moment, and they just cheated. Ridiculous. The drama was so big that D'Amelio's sisters got forever banned from Mr. Beast's channel. And Jimmy even had to delete the entire tournament because everyone was embarrassed. But one time, Mr. Beast fans turned his charity attempt into a disaster. Some people tried to take an advantage of Jimmy's generosity, and this didn't end up any good. In 2022, Mr. Beast went to a local grocery store and said he's going to come tomorrow to pay for everyone's groceries. The shop workers were so happy, they started telling everybody to come this day, saying there's going to be free groceries for everyone who subscribed to Mr. Mr. Beast. But the next day, this turned into a nightmare for Jimmy. Mr. Beast is not coming today due to... Oh, Lord, it was the day would have never bought. Don't tell bring his ass back. And, and I'm the one to get to tell y'all, so... The entire event was not supposed to be... Them folks got so much stuff and they ain't even trying to buy. They just want somebody else to buy. But they could at least be in just got what they needed. Like because Jimmy knew too many people are going to show up. There were literally hundreds of people inside this Look store. Look at this. These folks got baskets full of stuff. Everyone was only waiting... And the crazy part, he didn't even show up. <laughs> I know they were disappointed. They were probably so sorry the at the end. But the crazy thing is, imagine you work at that store with all them people and just loaded all them carts. 
you know they ain't gonna unload them cars, so the people who work there gotta go put everything back. Probably throw stuff away and everything. Mr. Beast to come. Mr. Beast is not coming today. There are security issues. He can't even get here. The worst part of this drama is when everybody left the store. The workers had to clean the mess for days mm, since mm, there were way too many see. people trying to get some free stuff. The entire grocery store barely survived after this story. But recently, Mr. Beast even got canceled because he gave away a private jet. Twitter. A private okay. jet? In the way he really gave away a private jet, though. Like, how do you give somebody a private jet? Like, if he gave me a private jet today, but the average Joe Blow, how can they even afford to use the dang jet? Holy sh**. Guys, here's how Mr. Beast just f***ed this guy over ruined their life this time it happened because some mr beast fans were too greedy again we must be living in a simulation at this point because jimmy bought a 2.5 million dollar private jet gave i'll tell you one thing though i would have sold it instantly 2.5 million i don't need no jet right now but i could do a lot with that 2.5 million it away for free and got canceled literally the same day i spent two and a half million dollars on this private jet and had 11 youtubers put their hands on it whoever keeps their hand on the longest Whoa. wins the private jet YouTubers. the winner of this jet turned out to be rhoda shaw but here the drama begins not only we've never seen the private jet after the video but the winner himself didn't say a single word about the jet like he didn't even get it and mr beast fans found out that jimmy even could have bought his own jet back from rhoda shaw which literally makes no sense so mr beast had to make a response I imagine there's a lot of tax implications when you receive a private jet as a gift <laughs> as a normal person. Here's the thing a lot of people don't understand because they're like, oh, Mr. Beast f people over. He gives them prizes and taxes. Just sell it. Sell it. Is like it that I, easy? Yes. Uh, sometimes if, I'll just buy it if they don't want it. I mean, like if I give you a Wait, you'll buy it and then give it to them and then buy it back? Yeah. And the taxes might actually be wild for Mr. Beast prizes because after his friend Chandler won the $800,000 island, he had to sell it simply to pay the taxes for winning it. And at the end, he basically lost all the money from the island he won, which is really sad. So for the jet, we paid like 2.5 million for it. So if you, you know, if you're the random person. Oh, what? So they got to pay. So when you get something for free, you got to pay taxes on it. Got to pay capital gains on something you got for free. So to pay the tax, you got to sell what you got and keep the rest of the money. But if he got an $800,000 island, he sold the island and he lost all the money. Wait a minute. Um... It doesn't make sense. Give it to them and then buy it back? Yeah. And the taxes might actually be wild for Mr. Beast prizes, because after his friend Chandler won the $800,000 island, he had to sell it, simply to pay the taxes for winning it. And at the end, he basically lost all the money from the island he won, which is really- How true is all this information, man? Somebody fact check this stuff. Really sad. So for the jet, we paid like 2.5 million for it. So if you, you know, if you're the random person the YouTuber picks, then you can just sell it for probably like at least 2.1. And after taxes, you have like 1.4 million. But like Twitter will be like, holy shit, guys, here's how Mr. Beast just f***ed this guy over, ruined their life by giving him a jet. It's like, no, you, you don't understand how money works. This situation is still very yeah. controversial. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't care how much tax you got to pay. Even if you had to pay five hundred thousand dollars in tax, if you sell a jet for two point one million, you still got a lot left. Like, so oh, let me know if you agree with Jimmy. But the next Mr. Beast fan who went too far made Jimmy scared for his life. And I was like, I'm, I'm. And there's nothing worse if a crazy fan has unlimited money because the guy who gave Mr. Beast some real life nightmares is actually a billionaire from Dubai. This billionaire spent millions of dollars on different private investigators to find the exact house where Jimmy lives simply to stalk him. And somehow wow. Mr. Beast's manager noticed it and told Jimmy to be careful. Somewhere in the Middle East, this guy hired a private investigator in North Carolina. I have no context to find me. Jimmy was scared to death and hired the security the exact same day. The stalker came to America literally the next day after Mr. Beast was notified, but nobody knew it was just a random subscriber. So my security went with the private investigator to meet him, and my security's just like, "Why the f are you here? Why are you trying to?" I chose Wix for my business what? because of its so massive scope really for here. functionality. Get Creation. Get what's going Being on? Like what? What's... Trying to find. What's really going on? Is, is Mr. Beast really that famous? Like, for real. Jimmy, and the guy's like, I just have video ideas. I really want to give them. And my security's like, F you. 
why are you actually here? And he's, he just kept saying it like 30 times in a row. He's just like, I just want to give him this sheet of ideas. And it was just a piece of paper with video ideas. Nobody was believing this dude. And even when Mr. Beast's security guards checked the entire room, they found absolutely nothing. I don't think anyone expects me to just go and be yeah. people who just can't probably wait for my attention. Cause you don't know, like they might be trying to kill me. They might be yeah, whatever. Of course. After Mr. Beast got the list of video ideas, this crazy fan went back to Dubai and the story ended. And if you're wondering Is what it? video ideas he gave to Jimmy, here's the answer. Well, my security was like, oh, Jimmy's out of town for three months I was, I was <laughs> did like, you ever get the f yeah ideas? well then and just get took it i was like i'll give it to jimmy and then he gave it to me and it was like open up a free gas station like, he tried to make money off you <laughs> he was getting a lick uh, off of you it was like 30 ideas like that crazy fans are the huge problem for people like mr beast but almost nobody knows that jimmy actually has a secret five minute rule that's this that's a bit much for you to do just to give him some ideas and then leave i guess you that rich that you get that bored that you want to come up with ideas for it's the beast. Like, that's OD crazy. Doing too much. And I ain't talking about his bed game. Turns out that if Mr. Beast takes a photo with someone, he cannot be in the same place for more than five damn minutes. I have a five minute rule. After I take the first photo, I can't be there for more than five minutes because they always post it on their stories and then all their friends always come to the place and within five minutes, now there's like 20 other people coming here and it just gets so much crazier. So, because Mr. Beast might have the best Comment down below if you really want to be, if you want to be that famous boy, you can't be nowhere for five minutes in a place to be blow looking like this behind him. Like that, that fame right there, I'd really be rich and famous. That's just a real statement. Cause like, that's a lot to deal with. Fans in the world. But since he's the most subscribed person on the planet, there's also a negative things about being so popular. So like you have random things like that. And then when you walk out of a store, you always have to look back and be like, yeah, it was nice meeting you, you don't. You don't have to follow me to my car. <laughs> follow okay, me, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy even said many times that he actually hates being this level of famous, and he really wished he only had only 1 million subscribers instead of over 300. If you have a million followers, if you go out in public, you'll occasionally take a photo. Yeah. When you get to 10 million, it's like a whole different world. Like every- A million? That's still a lot of people, but it's a big world, so they probably, I see what he's saying though. 300 million though, that's, that's at least one person in every continental place of the earth. If you go out in public, <laughs> you'll occasionally take a photo. Yeah. When you get to 10 million, it's like a whole different world. Like every time you go out, you're gonna take at least one photo. And it's like, oh, this is awesome. People <laughs> like me. But then you go from 10 million to 100 million. And next thing you know, when you go to Walmart, someone asks for a photo and everyone else looks. And then like, there's a line of 20 mm. people. But there's one big fan of Jimmy who actually exposed him. And this person is Mr. Beast's girlfriend. Her name is Thea. Huh? And recently she revealed a bunch of weird things about Mr. Beast that might actually blow your mind. Basically, she said that on their first date with Mr. Beast, Jimmy was acting a little too curious about her. Thea liked it at first, but later she revealed that Mr. Beast actually was asking her 40 different questions to spot if she was a gold digger. He started <laughs> That ain't weird. That's smart, bro. Mr. Beast need to know because he got a lot of money and I need to know if you're a gold digger or not. That's a, that boy Mr. Beast knows something. Me a lot of questions. Little did I know he was actually- What? Y'all here asking what, what, what race is that? She gotta be foreign. Digger. He started asking me a lot of questions. Little did I know he was actually like going off a list because he was looking for a new girlfriend potentially and he had this whole list. I don't even know if oh, Mr. No, Beast will like it going public. But Thea also revealed that Jimmy has a giant food bank in his office to feed thousands of contestants in many of his videos. We'll drive past like a massive line to a food bank on, on the Saturday. And he's like, oh yeah, that's, that's my food bank. We have, like I set this up every weekend. And I'm like, you don't put this on videos at all. And he's like, no. And if you thought that's it, you're going to be wrong. Because Thea also said that Jimmy has a real hotel in his office where some YouTubers and Jimmy's friends can actually live for weeks. And all of these things were a complete secret until Thea revealed it. Because before she started dating Mr. Beast, she was just a random subscriber of Jimmy and was just watching his videos. The final thing Thea revealed is that Mr. Beast adopted a cat and named him Satan, which caused a lot of controversy from Jimmy's Christian fans. And a lot of YouTubers are trying to gain some clout out from Jimmy. Some people expose him, but some of Mr. Bleach fan. I can't lie though. Naming your cat Satan is kind of crazy, but I mean, people do what they want to do, man. I don't think it's demonic or is it? 
and a lot of YouTubers are trying to gain some clout from Jimmy. Some people expose him, but some of Mr. Bleach fans are actually trying to gift something to Jimmy. And sometimes these people become so annoying for him, he literally asks them not to bring him gifts anymore. People are just giving me stuff, but it's just so low effort and it's not original. And it was just so they could slap my face on a thumbnail. And so like, that's why I say no to basically everything now. Like. But if you think Mr. Beast is just being rude, he actually has a valid reason behind it. Since Mr. Beast is always genuine with his fans, he promised that he's never gonna fake his personality or react at something the way he doesn't want to. I can only receive big things. So <laughs> And while we climb this mountain, I want to tell yeah, you guys about crazy. Shopify, a platform that makes yeah, starting a business. He's the most famous YouTuber on YouTube. He got a YouTube ad in a video about him. It's crazy. I don't like faking my personality and like receive. We're gonna fake his personality or react at something the way he doesn't want to. I can only receive big things so many times, <laughs> and I, I don't like faking my personality and like yeah. if someone gave me another low effort item and they're filming yeah. and they pull a curtain off they're yeah. like oh what do you think i'd probably say this <laughs> sucks <laughs> i'm glad you got my face on no can i go do something important yeah. i don't want to hurt anyone's feelings so sure. i just like yeah. Yeah. but one fan didn't listen to mr beast he decided to go to his town and ask random people if they know where mr beast is living and jimmy couldn't keep the silence when a random fan was bothering his friends and family so he called him out on twitter first this guy tweeted the hunt is on for mr beast and later jimmy replied this go away i don't want your stupid cutout i'm tired of people harassing me. This guy left the town the same day and never said a single word about Mr. Beast after this drama. So let me know if Jimmy <laughs> went too far or he was just trying to live no, a normal life. Right, but one man. time Mr. Beast he almost got canceled alone, because of some car that he gave away. Jimmy went to a restaurant and- He went to his city and harassing his family and stuff, trying to find out his OD, man. But one time like Mr. Beast almost got canceled because of some car that he gave away. Jimmy went to a restaurant and gifted this random waitress a brand new $30,000 car as a tip. What's the biggest tip you've ever gotten? Like 50. $50? <laughs> yeah. Has anyone ever tipped a car? Yes. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to cry. I mean, yes, oh, bro, wrong with this? No, it is real. Just, I don't understand how what he doing wrong, bro, unless he not really doing it. But apparently he really doing it. Ain't nobody came out and said he haven't done what he done. So, like, we're going. This video got over 13 million likes and over 100 million views, but a lot of Mr. Beast fans weren't happy about it. Lots of people on wow. Twitter started calling Mr. Beast out, saying that he's not doing it from his heart and only giving people free stuff for attention and views. The problem was this car having the Mr. Beast logo and Feastables name on it, and some fans said it's just dirty promotion and cannot be called charity. The hate was so big that Mr. Beast had to reveal another video from behind the scenes, where this girl actually said she doesn't even mind the car having Mr. Beast logo. Of course. Take care. Enjoy the car. Thank you so much. We can get rid of the logo. It's kind of cool. Uh, hey, I agree. <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit. Is it not good? Uh, I think I'm going to keep it. But one fan who randomly took a photo with t phobia worried about the wrong thing. They just worried. They just worried. She got a car, bro. She ain't tripping. He even said she get rid of it. She kept it, bro. Like, it was discussion, bro. Let's not even talk about it. He helping. Jimmy almost gave Mr. Beast an early. Well, they didn't give away. Every person that gave away $50 in their lifetime, and they talking about him, Mr. B, giving a call with his logo on. If it did, Trip. it's her call, so she can go wrap it, she can go peel it off, she can do whatever she want to do with it. It probably was a call for him, and he gave it away. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, trip. Because this little kid who took a picture with Jimmy at the airport accidentally almost killed him. This was what? the sign. For them. Because this little kid who took a randomly took a photo with Jimmy almost gave Mr. Beast an early trip to heaven. Because this little kid who took a picture with Jimmy at the airport accidentally almost killed him. This was the sign for Mr. Beast that some of his fans are actually insane. In the airport, I was wearing my hoodie, sunglasses, just staring at the floor. I was like, if I don't take any photos, I'll just go straight to the hotel room. No one will know I'm here. And somehow this one little kid recognized me and I was like, no photo, please, please. And he's like, photo, photo. I, I didn't know how to tell him no and I didn't want to be mean, so I took it. And now there's like 200 people outside this hotel running up and down the hallways, like knocking on doors, trying to figure out which room's me and Carl. And, and then there's like people trying to camp outside the hotel. I was talking to the manager of the hotel. I was like, why don't just have your security like control yeah. things? And he's like, we do. This story is also the reason why Mr. Beast basically hates taking photos with his fans these days because some crazy people could hurt Jimmy in this hotel and he's just scared for his life at this point. And Mr. Beast loves doing pranking videos like when he filled his brother's house with slime or when he crashed his friend's car and gave him a new one. But there was one prank from a Mr. Beast fan who actually almost got Mr. Beast in jail. YouTuber and Jimmy's what? big fan, Eric, decided to arrest Mr. Beast as a joke and it went not as he expected. Hey, how you doing? Look, I stopped you for your tent, man. Yeah, this is my car. Oh, it's yours. You know the tent. 
Yes, it, the problem is uh, when I lower it, people stalk me and take photos with me. It started like a normal police prank where Mr. Beast was just supposed to show his driver's license, but it actually only went worse after that. Can you put your hands right there? Right yes, sir, please. Special yeah. for me? Yeah. You've got a warrant for your arrest for communicating threats. I'm going to pat you down, make sure you ain't got nothing illegal. Communicating threats? And we're going to go to uh, jail and take care of it. All right? Put your hands behind your back for me. They are handcuffing Jimmy right now. You can see how Mr. Beast was confused at this moment, and of course, he had no idea it was just a prank video. But Jimmy actually got scared for his life when the police officer drove him to the actual jail. Can we just put him in a um, hold cell, if y'all don't mind? <laughs> Sir? I don't. No. No, you, you had to wait for that. You can't do that stuff right now. Jimmy had been stuffed in the back. Whoa. How? How did that end up happening though? Like what's going on right here? A cop car locked in a jail cell and was now begging for food and water. And here's how Mr. Beast reacted when he realized it was just a joke. I just got God on Get God. Oh, wait, so it was you. Ah! <laughs> am I, am I Come on, man, let's go. Come oh, on. Really? <laughs> Oh, so it was a joke, but they didn't put my boy all the way in the jail cell. That boy was ready. That boy was panicking. <laughs> Later turned out that this video wasn't even legal in his state, and Arak could get arrested for years for doing this prank. And of course, he almost gave Mr. Beast a heart attack. So let me know in the comments if you think videos like this are even ethical. But one thing means everything for Jimmy, and it's his charity donations. Mr. Beast spent over $100 million on philanthropy over the past few years, which is even oh, more so. than Ronaldo has given away. But literally every single charity video Mr. Beast does gets a lot of drama. Like when he made a thousand people see for the first time, people said he was mocking Jesus and only did it for clout. Or when he built a hundred wells in Africa, some Mr. Beast fans. People are gonna say what they want to say at the end of the day. People are gonna just keep talking. So it don't matter. Keep doing Mr. Beast. You gotta keep doing what he's doing and just keep being great, bro. As long as he's doing out of good heart, bro. None of that other don't matter. But the drama makes for a good video like this though, you know? That he's being racist and shows Africa as a poor continent. But the story of this fan is actually the sweetest thing Mr. Beast has ever done. This little guy from Australia saved his sister and fought against the dog that was trying to kill them. His face Yo. received a lot of scars, but Jimmy knew he was a, a real, real superhero. Hero. This little boy also said many times that Mr. Beast is his favorite YouTuber ever. So here's what Jimmy did. I just want you to know that I'm really proud of you. You're an amazing person, and I think what you did was really epic. Even at my age, I couldn't fathom doing something like that, and so you're, you're a really great guy. And Mr. Beast might be not perfect, but doing great things like this will always be amazing. So even if some people don't like Mr. Beast, his actions will always speak louder than words. You feel me? Wait, dude. Mr. Beast out here really helping folks, man. Make sure y'all comment down below any videos y'all want to do, y'all want to see me do, see us do, man. Bro, we'll be back on the channel, so don't even worry. He can be in and out, out of the end. So, uh, yeah. Let us know any videos y'all want to do. Make sure you comment, subscribe. Man, we chasing a thousand subscribers. Make sure you subscribe. We need you to subscribe and like the video for sure. If you don't do anything else, just subscribe and comment down below any videos you wanted to see, do, get a laugh on. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, stay y'all.